packing for like six weeks of time is like way harder than you think. And maybe, maybe I, well, I'll put that out in London as an 18 year old girl who's still figuring her life out. <laughs> hey, your uh, background is amazing. Are you building <laughs> up your own trainer collection? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> There's a few missing because I'm packing, but yeah. <laughs> packing because you're going to go on tour? Is that the, is that the stitch? Yep, I leave on Saturday, which is wild. <laughs> Hello. You can't wait. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, it's been it's been for literally two and a half years, so I'm very ready. <laughs> and do you pack your own? Have you sorted out all your outfits for tour? Have you got someone that's going to help you with that? It's me and my mom. We're figuring out my outfits right now, which is quite the struggle. Actually, picking out tour outfits is so hard because packing for like six weeks of time is like way harder than you think <laughs> like the whole process of figuring out what you're gonna wear for six weeks is insane so it's taking a while <laughs> i can imagine you've got a wardrobe full of insane clothes your instagram <laughs> is just dripping in swag let me tell you and i really like that blue outfit in the video as well i'm like i need a cat suit like that <laughs> in my life you definitely do 100 percent. perfect tour outfit as well actually i would say the blue bodysuit and maybe, maybe I, well, I'll flip that out in London. <laughs> flip that in that, that luggage. Get it, get it out for the London shows. It's all I want to be. It's so infectious. On first listen, I was actually driving in the car and it came on the radio and I turned it up and I was already singing it. But when the second chorus came about, because it hits you hard. Um, and I feel like it's super relatable. I was like, yeah, I, I've definitely been in that situation before. <laughs> thank you um it was it's really funny because i feel like it's a very like boppy song so if you like don't if you don't listen to the lyrics you could think that it's like a very you know superficial song but i feel like it's uh for me i feel like it's just a very relatable topic as an 18 year old girl who's still figuring her life out <laughs> um and i think it's a very universal thing that people go through and, and sometimes hate to talk about so i thought i'd put it into a punk song. <laughs> Tell us about the concept of the music video, because I know obviously you've got a dancer background. You put that element into this video, didn't you? Yeah, um, it was really exciting because me and my mom were actually watching Chorus Line and basically we're like, this would be the craziest movie to recreate. Um, and I was like, I don't know how we would do this, but then I wrote this song and you know, it basically just like was perfect because I think the relationship of toxic dance auditions and the comparisons of social media and, you know, jealousy, I feel like it correlates really well. So it was very cool to like create this like mini movie and kind of bring my vision to life. So it was very cool. Have you ever been in those uh, environments where you're doing dance auditions and it's been a bit wild like that? Totally. I think I've, I've it's, it's strange because now that I'm an artist, you know, seeing my dancers, I want to make sure that they just like get the best care possible and that they're 100% happy and, you know, excited to be on tour and excited to be dancing because I know what it's like to be on the other side. And I know what it's like to be treated shitty and to, you know, not feel like you're should be there. And I think it's it's very important for me, at least, to like make sure that they feel like they're like having the best time ever. I always like, get really stressed about that because I was like, I lived so many years through like this crazy toxic environment. So it's it's very important to me to like flip it around now, at least. It's amazing. I love that, you know, you've been through that and you're like, nah, right, now that I've been through that, that's not going to happen on my watch anymore. Like it's <laughs> not going down. I love that. Thank you. I want to come and work for you. Sadly, I can't. Come, <laughs> yeah, come get to me. Sign on the dotted line. Um, you posted on Instagram in January that the album is coming. There's a couple of tracks. I'm aligned out. When can we expect this? Is it done yet? Is it finished? Yeah, the album is done. Very crazy. I think um, it, it was very stressful to like finalize it because I think picking the order and picking like the last batch of songs, it's all in your hands. And it, that's a super intimidating thing to do. And I'm like the most indecisive person ever. I feel like I could write songs for days and just like beat out this entire album, but um, I definitely have to stop and put it out. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm very interested to see how people react to it. And the thing with album track lists, it's got to flow nicely. That's why it takes time to make sure that the tracks are in line with the, you know, the storytelling, the mood, the vibe. Totally. Yeah, I think it, uh, 
I've never like done this before. This is my first debut album. So I think it's, I just want to be very cautious with what song goes where and you know, what I'm kind of presenting to my fans for the first time. How exciting. And no doubt you'll let us know on the socials when there's an official date and it's locked and loaded. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Perfect. I'll, I'll be keeping my eagle eye out for that. And you're <laughs> heading to the UK this June, finally, for the UK tour, which we're so excited about, no doubt. You've been in rehearsals, getting ready, getting prepped for this show. What can your UK fans expect when you hit us nicely in June? I don't know. I mean, I hope they're excited because I am so beyond excited for the UK. It was supposed to be in January. Yeah, I was and now it's. I was like, oh. Where is the show happening? And they were like, yeah, no, it's been moved. I was like, oh no. Ah, I was so excited. And then it got canceled. So the fact that it's like rescheduled and all the same venues, I'm so excited i also just like can't wait to see the uk again talking of british people in the uk you know you're here in june who's on your playlist is there anyone right now i know you're a big fan of dua lipa is there anyone else you're listening to from the uk that you're enjoying uh do is a big one i mean i like i'm obsessed with her i've also been watching her tour videos on her like That's arena tour. Oh, she looks incredible oh my goodness i uh i'm so inspired by her she's literally an angel Wow. So, so do is do is the main one on the list. Do is the main one. I definitely like. I'm obsessed with her.